Hello and welcome to day 40 of our Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'll be sharing with you five creative ways on how to use the Divi's person module. Now, I've gone ahead and done some designs so you can see and have a look at what the outcome will be. Without wasting a lot of time, let's go ahead and I'll show you how I came up with these designs. So before we get started, let's discuss where this personal module is used. So mainly it's used on the About Me page or team pages. So we can see here, it's quite a few uh, different ways you can actually use this. Out of the box, it's pretty much standard and basic, but uh, hopefully uh, after this tutorial, you can see how these can be used in other creative ways. Okay, so let's start off with number one. Um, all the settings that I have for for, for these can all be found on the blog and I'll also leave the link in the show notes below. All right, so let me show you how I've done the first one. So the main element we need to go to is into the person module. Okay, so first things first, I added my name and, and the position and then I also um, navigated to where my image is. So if I scroll down here, animation can be left as it is. The text color needs to be light because we're going to have a dark background. Now here on the URLs, this is where you want to add your social media URLs. For now, I've just added a blank link. And then I've also added the description and this is just lorem ipsum text. Okay, so the next bit is to go into the advanced design settings. So in the advanced design settings, what I've done here uh, under the header font, I've left it as default and I've made it bold and then uh, the header font size is 18. Right, um, the body text is 14. And also I added a background image and I'll just show you quickly what, how, what that looks like. So that's the uh, background image. But with this background image, it needs to be abstract because you don't want the background to be competing with the text on that area. Otherwise, it'd be very difficult to read. Okay, so um, the background color, this is unnecessary. So I can just disable that. You don't really need a background color since we have a background image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click save and exit. And then let's just take a quick look. So now you can see here, uh, there's a few uh, things that we've done to make it look the way it is, which is the padding. So if I go back in here, I'll show you where the padding goes. So what you need to do is to go into the custom CSS. On the member image, you want to add padding top, bottom, left, and right. And then also on the member description, you want to add padding uh, right 20 pixels and also padding top 20 pixels. Now these sizes that I've added in here can be changed based on the image that you're using. So um, you can always adjust these to get the best result. So that's how I did the first one, which is that one. Now let's move on to the next one. And I'll show you how I've done these borders. So to achieve the borders, what I've done is I've gone to the advanced design settings, and then we need to scroll all the way down to where it says use border. And then you need to make sure it's selected to yes. By default, it's on no. The border width needs to be five pixels. And then the border style needs to be set to outset. And then finally, all we need to do is to make sure that the border color is white. After you've done that, all you need to do is to save and exit. And then here you can see that's the border white that, uh, uh, that we added. And that is the offset. So let's move on to number three. Number three is all about shapes and I'll show you how to get these different type of shapes. So for the first one, the, the rhombus shape, you get that by going into custom CSS. Now this is the code that you need to apply to it. And it can also be found on our blog. And as I mentioned be, uh, before, the code is in the show notes below. So this is the code you need to enter. And as soon as you've entered this into the member image area, th straight away, you'll get that shape that we have here. And pretty much that's what you do for the circle and also this shape, which looks like a speech bubble. Okay, so let's move on to number four. 
Now with number four, what we've done here is we've added a shadow in the background of this uh, area and I'll show you how to do that. Right, so in number four, if you go to custom CSS, this is the code that you need to enter into the main element part of the module settings. Now it might not be very clear, so I'll zoom into it a little bit so you can see, but it's quite subtle, but uh, it just adds that bit of elegance to it. Okay, let's move on to number five. Now this is where I've combined a few things that we've uh, discussed in the top and uh, added it to make a custom layout. So here, what we need to do is there's a, there's a few more steps we need to do on this one, but um, we need to start off with adding the uh, person modules. Okay, so once you've added that, I mean, the information is pretty much the same as before. But now when we go to the advanced settings, uh, you need to uh, make sure that the, uh, the header font is bold and it's also set to all caps and the size is 18. So when you scroll down here, again, you need to make sure that you have your uh, background image. And then what I've done here is I've added the custom padding. So um, I've added 40 pixels um, as the custom padding. And then if we go to the custom CSS here on the main elements, we've, as we've also added a box shadow. And on the member image, we've also added this code. And like I said, this code can be found on the blog article. Okay, so once you've added all that, that's all we need to do. You click on save and exit. And then we also need to style this button. And to add this button, all we need to do is to insert the module and then you just insert the uh, button module. Okay, so let's go into the settings and I'll show you which settings I've got in there. Now, first of all, the button URL, I've just added a blank uh, link, but you can also add your link that you want to link to. Um, the button text, I've um, named it view profile because pretty much that's what we want to do. And then the uh, the alignment is center because it looks much better if the button is centered. Okay, and then I've just labeled it button. So let's go on to the design settings. Now here on the design settings, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the custom styles for the button is set to yes. Otherwise, you won't have all these options. So after that, um, what I did is I've set the... Uh, button text size to 15 and I've made sure the button text color is white and it has a solid background green color. Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. Now here we've added the button border radius and we've set it to 30 and this is how we achieve this shape which looks like a pill. All we need to do is just to make sure that we've put the radius right there. In. Okay, so the button font again, we've left it as default but we've made sure that it's bold and it's also in caps. And then finally, what we have here is the button hover border radius. We've only set that to three. And then on the custom CSS, on the main element, this is the code you need to add to make sure that the, uh, the button is offset and also that it's positioned correctly. Again, these settings can be found on the blog article. You can see that these three have the images above the text. This is because they're all in a narrow column, so it automatically moves the image to the top. So the last thing you need to do is to add some code to the columns. So if you come here to the settings, just click on the settings and go ahead to the custom CSS and then you scroll down until you find uh, column one main element and then you paste this code, position colon relative. Okay, you do the same for column two and also column three. So there you have it. These are the five ways you can be creative with Divi's person module. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms because we are releasing more videos like these to help you with your creative design process. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to our next video.